Hello and welcome to all of our viewers from around the world. We have quite a game in prospect here, just waiting for the players to emerge and we will be underway. The teams then, Barcelona against Napoli. I'm Peter Drury and it's my chance to say that it is an absolute delight to have Jim Beglin beside me. Cheers Peter, it's a privilege to be here, it really is. So Jim, tell me this, who are you looking for in particular here? Callejon, he's the one who could shine. Um, sharp and skillful and happy to ease inside and allowing the fullback to fill the space he vacates. If an opportunity arises too, he's also a very mean free kick taker. Yeah, he'll be looking for a goal or two. Can he put it away? That is wayward. I think when you're in front of the goal like that, you really should do better. That's a poor finish in the end. Sergio Busquets. Luke de Jong. Looks to slip it through. Now the pass. Oh, it's come off the upright. Goal! Barcelona! He was so alert to the possibilities there. Great stuff. Well, as they say, Peter, if you don't speculate, you won't accumulate. And we've just witnessed a player who was rewarded for his willingness to take a risk, as cunning as it comes. Well, that has certainly made things interesting. Hit long and direct. Lorenzo Insignia looking to get on the end of this. Sergio Busquets. And it's Luc de Jong. Manolas. Aimed long and direct. Pushes it out wide. Kayahon with the ball through. Pjanic gets his foot in there. Mertens tries to get it forward quickly. forward what does he try from here Koulibaly can hoist it clear Pjanic now it's Philippe Coutinho good strong hand by the keeper he's done very well to get to that well, I can only add that he's got reflexes that are in perfect working order, Peter. That was very good to watch. Up to meet it! No attempt, just the wrong outcome. Well, he couldn't have hit that any better. Any other time it would have sneaked in. He put on quite a show there. It's tremendous play on his part, Peter, and he's proving to be a, a right handful throughout the game. He scored inside the first 10 minutes to make it 1-0. Now it's Mertens. Mertens looks to dink one in. Now it's Kajajon. Defected behind for a corner kick. a swing but it wasn't to be well to strike a volley requires exactly the right balance and I think that's what maybe let him down there Peter Sergio Busquets and it's Insigne yes. 
Koulibaly. Koulam. Forward it goes. Tries a through ball. Another throw. Luke de Jong. Philippe Coutinho. And he's shown him a clean pair of heels. Luke de Jong passes it through. Great build up. It all deserved a better ending. Yeah, and that was all about the through ball. Great control, and the weight was perfect. Oh, that's great stuff from him. Well, he went at it with great confidence, and it's not going to stop him from trying again. Now it's Luke de Jong. Looks like a good ball through. And it's Insignia. Plays it out to the wing. Now it's Mertens. Looks to slip it through. It's come loose. The referee has seen that as a dive. Well, that's just very cynical. For him to think he could get away with it is, uh, is ugly on his part. Pjanic, Luke de Jong, now it's Philippe Coutinho, pumps it upfield, now it's Mertens, now it's Mertens, and that should be the keepers. There's the end of the first half. Well, this team has found a real rhythm to their game. The players seem to have clicked well. There's good movement off the ball. The passes are sticking. No one's afraid to have a go. Barcelona in for the dressing room in possession of a 1-0 lead. So, off we go once more. Whistle's gone. That's a foul. in a foot to win it back Philippe Coutinho now it's Luke de Jong Coutinho PK does well to read it and intercepts and it's Coutinho Philippe Coutinho passes it through Lorenzo Insigne Fauzi Goulam with the ball through. Tried to play it through. The idea was good. Back of the net! Well, it certainly livened things up a bit, and that next goal now is absolutely crucial. <laughs> Jim, your thoughts? Yeah, and I think we may have had too many defenders ball watching then because they just lost sight of the real danger. That has added a whole new complexion to the game. Yeah, for me, both sides are strong and well-matched, and I think you need to be a good player to be out there right now. Shot a goal! Goal, Barcelona!
And they get themselves in front! He was urged to shoot, and he duly delivered. I just think it's clever positioning from clever movement, and when all of that is synchronised with the right pass, that's what happens. Barcelona take the lead. And back to base. Koulibaly. Koulam. Boots it upfield. Tries a through ball. Lorenzo Insignia looking to get on the end of this. Well, they are working very hard to get it wide now, Jim. Yeah, that's, that's true. And is that how you're seeing it? Yeah, I think they've decided to concentrate on, on working the flanks to help the production line. It's uh, it's where the room is. Out wide to the right. Kaya Hong. Now the pass. Mertens. Napoli have a free kick. Yeah, well, they were exposed and, and vulnerable, and he knew he had to do something to prevent a goal then. There could be trouble here. So now the referee is keeping his cards in his pocket. <laughs> Wonderful quick feet. It's broken loose. And he's there to make a great save. Keeper has shown great concentration there. I think his anticipation pretty much did the trick for him. Keepers in command. Jordi Alba. Who's going to make this theirs? Tries a through ball. Luke de Jong looking to get on the end of this. Napoli keeping their men at arm's length here. Yeah, I just think it's a, a conservative move to deny runners the opportunity of, of going beyond that rear guard. Napoli, look as though they're about to make a change. <laughs> Who's ball? Who's going to get that? it through has it out wide now oh, no that's not the ball he wanted talk about singling someone out yeah and they finally reacted but they could have been more switched on before he, he scored now it's Philippe Coutinho Philippe Coutinho this is in a low one. Oh, taken with style. And that should do it. Within sight of the finish line. What about that, Jim Beglin? Well, he made it obvious as to where the pass should be played, Peter, and it made the finish look that bit easier. He's made it three. Quite a day at the office for him. Oh, this has been an immense contribution from one player. He's been just about unplayable. The irresistible force today. Barcelona two up and into a position of real strength. It's Kaya Hon. Regardless of the outcome, it is good to see someone running at the defence like that. Looks to slip it through. Aguero finds himself offside. It may look like a predictable long ball forward, but it's it's very effective, and the run just needs a slight tweak to beat the offside. They look as though they can make this come together. And for 
confirmation that there will be four minutes stoppage time. Kayahon with the ball through. That's a half-decent try. Well, if he hopes to do better than that, he's got to work on his technique and his timing. The contact wasn't right there, so there wasn't much chance of success. Pjanic. Roberto. Some good work on the right flank. Now, what's next? And that's been repelled. There is the final whistle. Barcelona come away with the win. A job really well done in all departments. A real some of the parts team effort. Well, what are your thoughts on today's game then, Jim? Well, if you can find a weakness, Peter, then it's a case of exploiting it to the full. And they realised the spine of this team wasn't so strong and time after time they used it to their advantage.